Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art. It's time for another Copic Ink refill swatch video. In this video, I'm going to swatch my collection of yellow and yellow green inks from Copic. I don't use a lot of yellow or yellow green colors in my work, so I'm combining both of the color series into one video. I'll start with the yellows and then I'll move into the greens. So let's dig in. All right, first up is Y000, which is pale lemon. And pale lemon is a, almost a fluorescent lemon kind of color. So um, it's very vibrant, really intense. Uh, it's a little gummy because it is a lighter color. So it's got like this kind of tackiness or stickiness to it. Um, but it's a pure color, very stable, no undertones, um, which is true of all the yellows until we get into the yellow greens. Um, the yellows are always really stable. Next is Y11, which is pale yellow. And pale yellow is, uh, again, a very stable color, no undertones. Um, there is not um, a lot of texture. It's just a really nice soft yellow. Next is Y13, which is lemon yellow. And pale yellow and lemon yellow are really close. Um, so if you were gonna pick kind of between the two, I would probably just get um, the pale yellow, the Y11. Um, but the Y13, it, the lemon yellow, is just a tad bit darker. Again, no undertones, no bleeding, no texture, no gumminess, just a very stable color. Next is Y21, which is buttercup yellow. And this is more of an orangish yellow, but there's no undertones, it's very stable. It has a little bit of stickiness or gumminess along the edges. Again, it's a lighter color, so it's pretty common with some of those lighter options. Next is Y23, which is yellowish beige. And I happen to love this color. Um, it's just a really nice soft yellow orange, no undertones, no bleeding. I just, I really enjoy I enjoy it. Next is Y26, which is mustard. And I also love this color. Again, very stable color, no undertones, no bleeding, no staining on the paper. It is a little gummy around the edges, um, but if you're looking for that really nice mustard or kind of like buttery yellow, this is it. Um, when you look at other ink brands like Ranger or um, you know, some of the other options out there, they tend to have a lot of undertones in the yellow and this one is just really pure, um, really nice color. Next is Y32, which is cashmere. And again, this is in that kind of yellow orange range, a little bit darker than the Y23, which was yellowish beige. This one here, again, a little sticky or gummy along the edges, but it's a very stable color. No undertones bleeding through. Um, it's a really nice kind of soft yellowish orange color. Now we're gonna jump into the yellow greens. And first up in the yellow green is YG0000, which is lily white. And out of all of the yellow greens, I would say this one is the most stable. There's no undertones, no staining on the paper. But because it's so light, it is extremely gummy and tacky along the edges. Next is YG09, which is lettuce green. And as you can see, lots of bleeding. There's yellow that bleeds out. The paper stains aqua, so everything underneath is that aqua blue color. But then there's this really nice kind of limey green on top. Next is YG11, which is Meganite. And this one, again, stains the paper aqua where the color lands. And there's some yellow bleeding along the edges. It's very soft. And then it's a very light green, limey green color. Next up is YG21, which is Anise. And 
on film, it looks like a stable color. You can't really see the staining, but there is a very tiny amount of blue staining right where I dropped the ink. But otherwise, it's a fairly stable color, no other undertones showing through. Um, but this color does take on more of the yellow hue and less of the green. But it is sticky and tacky on the edges where it builds up. Next is YG41, which is pale cobalt green. And as um, you can see again, there's that aqua staining on the paper, lots of yellow bleeding out around the edges, and then a very light, pale, limey green color. It is tacky along the edges where that color builds up. Next is YG45, which is cobalt green. And this color takes on some mustard yellowish brown along the edges, so those undertones are bleeding out. And of course the paper stains that aqua color again on the bottom or the base of it. And then there's this really nice green on top. Kind of some olive green mixed in there as well. Next is YG61, which is pale moss. And again, a brownish yellow, kind of beige color bleeds out from this. Paper stains that aqua color. And then there's kind of this olivey green, which is that main color component for this color. Next is YG67, which is moss. Again, aqua staining the paper underneath. That mustardy yellow bleeds out. And then there's this rich kind of olivey green, but yet brighter green, right? Not a true olive that sits on top there. A little bit of browning, a little bit of yellow along the edges. Then we have YG91, which is putty. And this is a pretty stable color for the yellow green option. There's very minimal aqua staining on the bottom. You can't even really see it. Um, nothing bleeds out in terms of undertones, but the texture of it does cause some interesting drying aspects. As you can see, some extra lines that you didn't really see with those other colors. Finally, we have YG97, which is Spanish Olive. And this color is so unique and I absolutely love it. There is some kind of brown terracotta orange that bleeds out from it. It does stain aqua underneath the paper, but as the ink moves, you can't hardly see that. Um, and then of course there's some, some tiny bit of yellow, but it's mostly that lovely terracotta that is bleeding out from this color. Um, and then you have this nice, lovely olive for like the main base. All right, one last look at my personal collection of yellow and yellow green inks from Copic. If you enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about alcohol ink, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified the second I upload a new video. So that's it from me, let's meet up again.